Hey guys, welcome back to Cartel Tycoon. Uh, we're gonna lead right with answering the question that we left off with, which is, can we assassinate Wagner? And I'm not gonna bury the lead at all. I'm just gonna tell you right straight up right now. Uh, no, you cannot. <laughs> you can't do it. Uh, but we're gonna try and I'll show you what happens if you try. So uh, the assassination skill, normally the skill works by clicking a lieutenant. She then goes to the building that a lieutenant is in and she assassinates them. It's very straightforward. So if I was to click Higa, for example, here, I go ahead and do that. She will start the process of making her way over to him and she will kill him. Okay. I'm going to cancel that because I don't want that. Now, if I was to want to assassin, uh, assassinate somebody over in this area, the same thing would happen. Even if they are gone, I can click it and she will make her way over to this building and kill this dude. All right. Now, obviously, it's not going to work with Wagner. So if I go to assassinate and I click him, nothing happens. I cannot click him. He is like completely safe from being clicked. What about Roberto? He was essential to the story too, right? Nope, apparently not. He can be assassinated. <laughs> so uh, even though he's a part of the story and we've had lots of dialogue with him, it doesn't matter. Vanessa absolutely can assassinate him. So it's just Wagner and that's really annoying because he's really annoying. Look at how much money I'm paying him compared to everyone else. It is just nonsense, just complete nonsense. But in order to progress the story, I have to assassinate somebody, it seems. So uh, Novato rank is probably the preferred way to do it. Um, I can get rid of some other people who maybe would be less useful. Uh, these two here aren't that useful, but they're very strong. The thing is, I don't, I don't know exactly know how much more fighting I have to do. I only have one region left that has any gangs at all in it. But I may have to fight the cops in the future. That's the thing. And these guys will definitely help me fighting the cops. So I'm going to take somebody that is a low rank and has no strength at all. Wagner. Uh, and we're going to choose Manolo here. Sorry, Manolo. Uh, it's just the way it is, buddy. That's just the, I'm sorry. That's just the way it's going to be. So Manolo is making his way over to this warehouse. We've called him over here to just do some routine checks. And uh, little does he know... They're gonna write a country song about him, all right? So just like that, post-bureaucracy is done. Vanessa has now assassinated him. And of course, uh, we get significant penalties to allegiance on everybody because of that. Because obviously it's like we're having our own people killed, so why would people like us anymore, right? Our own people are not gonna like us if that's happening. So we obviously, I don't want to do that, but the stupid story wants me to do that. So it is what it is. Uh, so we now have the ability to acquire Puebla de Lava. So let's go ahead and talk to him. It says the black of night stretches out above a hillside overlooking the woodland in Puebla de Lava. Uh, disturbed only by the white of the stars and the flickering orange glow of a large fire. Two large figures stand next to a truck, uh, to a car trunk. Sorry. Uh, they pull from it a large black mass and dump it into the fire together. As the body hits the firewood, it sends sparks flying up into the night. There. They'll see that. My commiserations, Capo. Eh, I never liked them anyway. <laughs> no, I did. I liked everyone. Still, one old friend goes up in smoke, and you find two more in the ashes. Wabla de Laba owes you a great debt, and I too. You can count on both of us whenever you might need. That's fine. Okay, so we get this. Same thing. Region's yours, blah, blah, blah. I need the region. There it is. All right. So that's ours now. Damien Luna has something to say. We are trying to show you the truth memo. Gamma Falco tugs at his collar. He could make for a shelter, but instead he strides through the rain to draw out the cacophony inside his mind. Voices all struggle to be heard above each other. Is this the man you wanted to be, Guillermo? In the distance, you can see the door to a bar without a name. Just a sign that reads, pigs will be butchered. Toe the party line, Falco. The leader de la opposition uh, had asked for a meeting, and he had arranged to, for them to meet here. He wanted to be away from Mexitlan, the PRE office, and the persistent stare of her canvas likeness hanging over it. He opens the door to find the woman herself is waiting for him in the corner. As is Wagner. So again, he's part of the story because why well, we can't get rid of him. Buenos dias, primo. All right. So 
what's going to happen here? I don't know. Uh, Wagner has three empty glasses in front of him, which is no real indicator of how long they might have been waiting here. A light blonde beer is purposely placed in front of an empty chair. That was courtesy of the bartender. Yeah, I'm, is it, it's poison, isn't it? <laughs> Camilla Cervantes quick, quietly sips a mezcal. Why am I here, Camilla? What do you want? The truth. You see, a short while ago, I approached Roberto for help with a potential scandal one of my cabinet members was facing. Uh-huh. He agreed to keep Wagner's name out of the news, so long as I would give a place in the party to the son of the party's founder. I didn't know if his motive was sinister or sentimental, but I needed his favor. If you want Roberto's motive, you'd be better off asking him. Perhaps, but Roberto isn't here. And besides, it is not his motive I am curious about, but yours. So tell me, Falco, what is your manifesto? Falco considers whether to tell Camilla that he knows about the party or hide the fact. He might gain an ally, or perhaps the less she knows, the easier it will be to understand. Uh, so tell the truth or lying. I'll tell the truth. She pauses. I know the truth, Camilla. I know about the corruption. I know the PRE is a sham party, and I know it was all Miapa's idea. But I am not that man. I intend to deliver what was promised when this party was founded. Democracy. Just and fair. She sighs and shakes her head. You either know less than you think you do, or you are too stupid to understand, Falco. They won't let you. They? You'll see. If you live, if you live that long... She rises from her chair. Hey, Wagner, eh? But the owl-faced man remains seated. For the first time since he came scurrying into her office, Falco witnesses defiance in Wagner Castrillon. You can leave without me, Signora Lairar. I believe in this cause. I believe in Guillermo Falco. He braces for a command, or maybe even a plea, but she just sighs. Then I will have to replace you both, won't I? Oh, good. <laughs> Survive the onslaught. Yeah, okay. Well, there that is. <laughs> Glad I kept the people who were strong. Uh, okay, cool. Terror increased due to acquisition. Gangs are taking action due to cartel expansion. Yeah, we figured that out. But guess what? Gangs power change is now plus six. But hey... He's a friend, right? So he should be good and he should be helping me too. So I'm going to turn this back on. All right. Los Parados uh, is changed to disaffected. That's fine. We have a new quest. It's called uh, Absolution, Manifesto of Absolution. Let's check and see what that's all about. It just says survive the onslaught. So yeah. Um, we have a couple of extra mare ones as, as well here too. But mostly what I'm looking for is just surviving said onslaught. So what does that entail what kind of onslaught are we going to see unsure but if i she's disaffected so i'm gonna have to pay her some more money to keep her on my team and happy so why don't we instead of paying her more money how about we just pay her a large amount and we'll do it again she's not loyal very good okay anyone else struggling with their loyalty issues right now paulina you're good right yeah you know what paulina deserves it she went to prison she deserves a raise he can be zealous for me. Uh, yeah, I don't really care about much. It just it's the people who are very strong. They need to be, they need to be very good. So you're very strong. That's good, and you're good. Mm hmm. I think we're ready for the fight then. Everybody's loyal or zealous, so I think we're ready for whatever fight they have to throw at us. We just have to figure out what kind of onslaught we're gonna have to get ourselves out of here. I'm not entirely sure where they're coming from. Because is it just the gangs? Like the other gangs are going to attack me? Because there are no gangs left. I've eliminated all of them. So the only thing left would be the random local thugs everywhere. And then my ally, which cannot attack me. <laughs> so what kind of onslaught are we going to have to deal with here? Are you flying in from out of the country or what? I, I suspect what was going to happen is that the enemy, the other gangs on the map would now like all attack me at once that kind of thing right or they would be persistently attacking me and i have to just survive it but again there's there's no one left i've i've wiped them out we do have a loyalty issue there for a little while so i mean i need to address that i guess but 
there's not much that needs to be addressed here. We just do that and ta-da, we're back up. Everybody idolizes me again. Uh, this place here could do the same thing. Boom. There we go. Um, we can actually get another lieutenant too, right? There's a spot available on our team. So why don't we take a look and see who might be interested in joining us. Uh, Tony would be great for fighting people off, but he has a terror expectation that's way too high. Uh, and then we have Mateo. Uh, Mateo has a chicken. I don't like that. Mm. Infamous. Burn building. Suppressive fire. Yeah, I'm going to reroll it. It's fine. I got lots of money. All right. So this dude, I, I don't like people who are who are telling me that I have to uh, have a high terror or something here. So this guy's fine. He's free. He just does some basic stuff like delivering things. He's got two power. I'm all right with that. We'll recruit you. And then I'll just get you to go to the seaport and uh, and be here and uh, be that be that next slot. Okay. So again, I don't know how long this is going to last, uh, whether or not we even have to fight at all, or whether this quest will even progress <laughs> if we don't have a fight. Uh, but I also have to capture all the northern regions, so I probably should keep going that campaign trail. So uh, the next thing to capture, I guess, would be Cinebola, and this is where we have to recapture all the buildings in this region. That was fine. So we're going to go over, and we just move to... I guess it's over here, right? So let's just get... Paulina to do this. Vanessa can do it too. Let's just do this really quickly. Both of my super strong girls are just going to get in there and make this happen. And then they'll take down that air, the aerodrome really fast at that point too. And yes, Terra will go up. I don't care. And gorillas are going to come and help me. Uh, I probably should have turned this off. Yeah, that's my mistake. I should I should turn this off now. Turn that off. We have 21 days now until they'll come and help us. That's fine. Uh, Vanessa, go that way. Paulina, help her. And then we'll take the aerodrome too. And then we can just tell the... Just have the mayor eliminate the terror for us. Yeah, this guy hasn't done us a favor yet, so... We'll get this guy to drop the terror for us right now and call it good. And... Rock and roll. Now the terror will be really low, and we'll have this done. All right. Uh, we have actually one building left to get. I forgot about that one. So go ahead and grab that. And Paulina will grab that. Okay. There we go. We'll take that building really quickly. 14 to 1. No problem. And then we'll see what your final, your final ask is after this. So what's the final thing? Deliver 100 opium. That is it. Okay. Piece of cake. Paulina, head on back to the residence. Uh, Vanessa can join you. Yeah, we'll have actually... Vanessa, you can go over here and you can serve on the boats. We're going to need someone else to take out the boats. So someone else needs to ship the spices and stuff, right? Uh, we'll buy a bunch of chicken to offset that loyalty problem. There we go. And now we have an extra slot to send out the spices and the chicken. Okay. Okay. It looks like progress is not progressing. I uh, probably need vegetables. We'll go ahead and uh, just buy some extra vegetables. Uh, there are no vegetables here. So just real quick, buy. Uh, looks like we need like, I don't know, this many, I guess is fine. Purchase the vegetables and then off they go. And now we just wait, right? Is that is that the only answer? We're just going to wait now, right? Because, yeah, opium needs to be delivered. So... Opium deliveries are really easy. I'm just going to say it. Um, we're just going to have like... I mean, Wagner can just do it for me, right? Wagner can come over to, you know, one of these places here. I guess you don't have too much opium. You have too much coffee. We'll swap, swap to avocados here really quick. You have a lot of coffee. You have so much coffee. I feel like I just need to make more more opium now right it's always that way it's like i can't find the balance I, i'd love to find the balance but i just can't quite do it i'd like to get get that balance under control here we'll switch all of these now over to opium again and then we'll just find can i do it packaged because we have lots of packaged opium 
like right here in the, in the avocados can i just send it says so 750 opium here so if we were to deliver it's 100 opium so 750 so i mean if i was to take say you and we deliver let's say i don't know one carload 18 boxes i don't know exactly how much that is i'm mostly just guessing how much opium will actually be delivered here with this and then it needs to be this town here so we'll have one carload from mark sent over this way and then i got i could just buy it from the village though right why not just buy it from the village it's so easy to do right i think mark can just go back hold on mark we don't need you to do this where is he did he already get on a boat oh he's where did he go mark mark oh i have to i have to yeah he's, he's right over here if i stop your delivery right now are you gonna drop it off and you're gonna drop it off in minerata and then i want you to take those back over no we want you to take the exact amount that way you end up staying in that location just take this back over we're gonna just deal with locals it's fine head on over here and then uh let's take a higa we're gonna we're gonna buy it really quick i want 100 of it right 100 opium so what we'll do is we'll tell this warehouse to not take opium there we go and then we'll go ahead and buy 100 opium from here easy and then we'll just take and deliver exactly the 100 or just infinite doesn't matter and deliver it to this to the city directly from the people yeah that'll work it's right there okay cool police isn't under control anymore uh, honestly like you can see if you eliminate all the gangs then the game is over right i mean we're we win gg <laughs> there's nothing else left to do even if you are like full here with like spices and everything even if you got that problem like or like all your buildings are full and you're having terrorized up just keep buying things from the locals acquire the city as the afternoon sun passes over the city cinnabola Sin uh, slowly emerges from the shadow of the mountains mayor sebastian medina winces as sunlight pours through the window and into his glasses uh sorry into his glass of ga garo sitting opposite Falco stares into his own shimmering reflective drink. Did you ever try to look for him? The man on the end of the phone line? Once, but I didn't have much information at my disposal. Uh, so uh, we're just like talking about this dude. Uh, he's going to say, okay, cool. Mother's business is in her name again. C Christmas dinner for all the family. Blah, blah, blah. Congratulations. The region is yours. Yes, I want the region. Done. Okay. Campaign Trail 2 is done. And Roberto. Oh, progress is now done too. So uh, I apparently I have to deliver that stuff to my friends until I have the campaign trail completed. Fair. All right. Roberto says, uh, sorry, Falco says, why speak up now? Palacio Legislativi Le Legislativo de San Rafael is a colossal structure. The campus makes up a large portion of... Uh, sorry, a large proportion of uh, Tetlin Central District. I had trusted you would come to see sense yourself. Perhaps I am becoming too compassionate in my old age, or perhaps I thought too highly of you. The main facade of the building comprises three sections, two protruding towers built from red to zontal. I don't know what that is. Uh, and between them, a barbican forged from bronze oxidized so as to give it a coarse green shade but now i am tasked on your order to help facilitate the sale of weapons to a vicious gang in the north roberto gallardo and guillermo falco share a bench in the central plaza between the two towers guillermo i could no longer tolerate your cooperation with santino neto veas nos toco arar con esos roberto los barados has the support of the public in the north I have no idea if I said that correctly. I'm sorry. Uh, above the door, a golden uh, bas relief of a falcon uh, completes a tricolor of the San Rafaelan flag. The falcon is perched upon a branch of a of a blooming 
uh, Apuntia. Apuntia. Uh, clutching a glyph, burning water, a pre-colonial symbol of war. I don't understand how anyone could support those despiadados. He spits into the cracked paving stones at their feet. It's about a want of recognition. If people feel they have been forgotten by their elected representatives, they are forced to seek out representation. Behind the facade, uh, or facade, I don't know what it is. Probably facade. Uh, the body of the, I have been reading a lot lately, and I'm sorry if I'm messing this up. My mouth doesn't want to go where I, my brain tells it to, okay? Uh, the body of the building resembles Mesoamerican architectures. Steps rising to a flat top and a stone temple adorned with intricate carvings of upturned hands and smiling faces in the embrace of feathered serpent deity. An engañador can become a lider uh, by convincing even a small group of these people that he will not just recognize them for who they are, but stand up for them in front of all others. In the crowded plaza, an unattended child looks around helplessly for his mother. If you're scared of being forgotten, you'll do anything to be remembered. Unable to find her, he screws up his eyes and begins to bawl and wail. Then you will find a way to become their champion without Los Barados, or you will find you have lost your oldest follower and most loyal friend. The reporter collects himself and disappears into the crowded plaza. Eventually, the child's crying is stopped by the familiar warmth of his mother's arms around him. But by then, Yama Falco is long gone. So, we now have Survive the Onslaught, <laughs> which isn't happening. Uh, and then we have Roberto's request. Deliver 200 weapons to the Allied gang or eliminate them. <laughs> ah, very easy. All right, let's see what he's got to say here. Capo, our alliance once burned brightly so that it shone as a warning f a warning fire for those who would oppose us. Soon, however, he crushes the end of a cigarette into a small glass ashtray. I fear nothing will be left of our agreement but embers. What would you propose? Prove to me that El Fuego Santo still stands with Los Barados. Reignite the flames of unity. We're better off without you. This will end our alliance. Or if you insist, we build atonement. Uh... We're going to end the alliance. I'm just going to take him out. It's fine. Uh, we're better off without you. <laughs> and they're going to probably immediately attack me now. Is that so? You will regret this, Capo. All right. Damian Luna has something to say now. He's like a black... Uh, the black phone trills in the back office of the bustling warehouse. Inside uh, the a laborious process of depalletizing, packing, and loading of wooden storage crates onto into uh, large trucks bound for the Chigeuchi is underway for the, the city over here. Uh, closely supervised by Guillermo Falco. He picks up the phone. Oi, Memo, mi valador. It was, uh, I was told I would reach you here. Como estas tu? I am well, Damien. Bueno, bueno. Y tu amigo, uh, La Pluma? You mean Roberto? He seemed in good spirits last time I saw him. Que maravilloso. Entonces, he is still on board with our campaign? Uh, Luna has already answered his question by asking it. The, black office, the back offices sorry, uh, features a large window through which a foreman could observe the warehouse floor. Falco, however, feels as though all eyes are watching him. You see, Memo, I was passing through uh, when an interesting headline caught my eye. Shall I read it to you? Another question that answers itself. Damien Luna clears his throat. Como padre, como hijo, Falco declares war on Los Barados. Read more in Roberto Galaro's exclusive interview with the PRE presidential candidate. Falco groans. I gave no such interview, Damien. I believe you, Memo, but if El Tejolote uh, reads this, uh, he might take it as a declaration of war. Is that a war you think you can win? Yes, I think it is. It's fine. Strangely, his tone suggests curiosity as though this really were a question he would be interested in answering. Choose your next move very carefully, Memo. Line goes quiet. Okay, so they're obviously coming out and they're just going to go take this right now. Their priorities are crazy cool. Okay, 
that's fine with me. Uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, bring all of my people to that location and just take him out. So uh, we'll start with Capo. Come right over here to San Juan. Very easy. I guess they're going into the hotel after all. Have everybody go here. Now, that, of course, does raise terror. So I probably shouldn't do that. So let's stop really quick. We're going to have you go to the village instead. Everyone will go to the village. That way we will not raise terror in the town. Uh, Paulina. Whoops. Uh, let's find someone else who's over here. Here we go. Paulina, you're going to go this way. Uh, Vanessa is going to go this way. Everybody's coming over here. We're just going to take them out right now. Uh, piece of cake. All right. Even Wagner's going to join in because he stands with us now. That's what he says. We'll see if he's a man of his word. Berto's going to help us because it's his fault we're doing this. <laughs> uh, and then as everybody else becomes available, we'll get them coming over to it too. So... Uh, we definitely need Kumar, so when the planes come back, we'll get him. And planes are not back yet, so I'll just keep his thing open, and when it sh says I can move him, I will. Everybody's kind of meeting up here in this area. There we go. Let's bring you over here. Uh, these guys are back now, too. We'll move all of you to this point so that you don't go on the boat. Okay. So that gives us everyone oh ahiga you're gonna have to come over here too right over here everyone's coming to the village okay now what i could do is throw a party at the residence instead but uh eh, i'm just gonna stay here it's fine this is this is good they're gonna, they're heading out now they're going back for this location which is a good thing for me because that's actually a really far distance for them that's a dirt road they're gonna take a long time to get there everything is gonna be cool and uh this place has seven strength right now so you know what i'm thinking now's the better no better time than now so let's go ahead and head this way uh wait, we don't have kumar yet it's fine he'll get here by the time by the time he gets here uh we'll already be well on our way here we haven't done a war in a long time we've been hanging out at residences and things for a while uh as long as our heavy hitters are in there ready to rock and roll Right, we should be a-okay -okay here. So let's just move everybody into this location right here. Wagner, you're coming with me too, buddy. You're my buddy now. I don't know how that happened, but you're my buddy now. I'll move everybody into the town and just subjugate these guys. Go. Everybody's going this way. While they are off doing their own thing at these fields, we're going to be in their town. Sounds good. He got moved to the, moved to the city. Kumar, move to the city. Go. And you know what? We probably should have some weapons. Don't you think? Probably have some weapons in the city. Probably would have been a good idea to have weapons in the city, right? Maybe we can bring some weapons. <laughs> I don't know if we need them. But if we need them, if we have to retreat or something, then we'll make sure we get weapons. Uh, while they're going that way, I'm going to build another residence right here. Just as a place that we could rest if we need to. Uh, that's really close to the destination. I'm going to rest right here. Seems fine. We are now at 77 to 7 right now, which is pretty great. Uh, the police are going to come and raid one of our places, and I could not care less about the police raid on our establishment. So there we go. We're burning the place down to the ground. This gang is 48 strength. So they are not going to be able to compete with us. Uh, they'll get somewhat close, especially if we get, you know, really fatigued or something here. But for the most part, we're going to be A-OK -okay here. We should be able to just sit here and have it happen. What's up, buddy? The warden tells me you've made yourself quite a... Oh, this is... He's in prison. He wants me to bring stuff. I have no plans. Goodbye. All right. We'll take him down. The last gang remaining. Are you... <laughs> the police are going to go here. <laughs> They're going to go this way. That's fine. All right. Bye-bye, Los Parados. You lose in a bar in Bienes. Oh, Berto's request is complete. Yes, I know. A photograph hangs on the Muro de la Vergenza. Vergenza. De la Vergenza. I can't, I can't speak Spanish right now, man. I'm telling you. You made the right choice, Guillermo. Despite what Su Amigo and Mascarado might have tried to tell you. The shape of a man against a dull gray wall. You are a dear friend, Roberto, and I trust your counsel. Damien is a reasonable man. He will come to understand why I chose the path I am on. 
as he should. Perhaps if your father had heeded my warnings about making deals with La Hampa, he would still be with us today. His thinning hair is slicked into a comb over. There's something about his expression that was unnoticeable until now. Miapa. He colluded with gangs too? Si, sí, que lo hizo. And it was the death of him. A dark blotch on his lower lip, presumably dry blood. Power is a hungry ghost. It feeds, but it will never be sated. He can still taste the foul flavor of salt and iron. I will not let it consume me, Roberto. I know, and that is why I'm about to tell you something. Real power is an institution. El territorio indígena. La Parisian, El aeropuerto. These are national institutions. As long as the Partido Acción Conservador has the support of these institutions, they cannot be displaced. I have taken every single one of these things. Ha 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 ha. You're saying, if you are truly set on getting your hands on Presidencia, Guillermo, you will have to loosen their grip on these institutions and take them for yourself. I have already done this. A hand wearing a signet ring, engraved with the design of a horse's head, it's already done, uh, reaches for the photograph on the wall and with half-faced sigh, takes it for themselves. Done. Avion. Four men are gathered around a writing desk in an office in Mexitlan. The name on the door to the office has been scratched off. The newly appointed leader de la oposición takes charge of the meeting. Primero, gracias por la audiencia. Audiencia. Uh, thank you for my thank you for your audience. I am gracious for the opportunity to uh, discuss my vision for San Rafaela. Uh, espera un segundo. Is it a problem, Senor Avion? The airport director keeps his gaze low in order to avoid looking out of the second story window. No, pues, sí. We are missing someone. Santos Claver says. The governor of San Rafael's largest prison speaks carefully with a concerned tone. We are? Senor Guzman. The leader of San Rafael's indigenous reservation listens only to what he has to, clearly uncomfortable being a part of this gathering. You did speak to El General, didn't you? Of course. Now I can get with the General. Of course. Uh, no. I have not yet spoken to Gideon Guzman. You have an agreement with Panfilo Ramos, then? Uh, the chief of the Policia Nacionale? No. Ah, we are wasting our time. Que pena. What do you mean? Avion, Claver, and Meza all attempt to uh, a look to prompt another to explain. They're all looking around me like, you tell them. Uh, the governor is outvoted four to two. Think about it. Gideon Guzman controls the army. And Panfilo Ramos controls the police. And the PAC controls Gideon, Guzman, and Panfilo Ramos. So the PAC controls the army and the police. He breathes the words and shoots a look to the masked figure standing in the doorway. That won't be a problem. And who are you? Luna meanders into the room, taking a seat in the corner of the writing desk. The answer that provides you with the most plausible deniability would be Senor Falco's campaign manager. But most importantly, I am a man who can get to the ear of Pinfilo Ramos. You are friends with the chief of police? Who said friends? When I speak now, he might not agree with what I say, but he listens. And if El Piton doesn't bite, I know a guy who can help. All right, so now I need to do something else. <laughs> I need to capture all the center's uh, regions. All the center's regions. Zero out of four, it says. Um, survive the onslaught. <laughs> Still survive the onslaught. Uh, capture all center's regions. Now, I can... Yeah, Ramos is here. Okay, so he is there. Can I just assassinate him? <laughs> can can she just can she do this? Can she just go like this? No, <laughs> I didn't think so. Okay, so Pamphila Ramos is here. That's that's a thing. Um, 
Apparently I can take a quest for him. He is not part of my organization, but he's there. Uh, and then it looks like... Yeah, the chief of the federal police has arrived at the military base. Okay, so I probably should go to the base and talk to him. Um, but is there anything else I need to actually get? I mean, is it just this? It's Marada, right? I need to have Marada. I need to have McSitlin. Ah, uh, I see. So I almost have McSitlin, actually. I just need to send a lieutenant with a guerrillas with the ability to rob to steal important evidence. So I almost have this one. I can't get this one until I talk to the military. And then Tetlan needs to be captured as well. Uh, Costa Blanca needs to be captured. I see. So these are the next tasks at hand. We need to talk to these guys and do things for them uh, to get their attention. Lots of reading in this video, huh? Okay. Uh, let's talk to Murata and see what, uh, see what the Mayor Isabel Suarez has to say to us. The sky darkens as a colossus swell spills from the strato volcano at the heart of san raviela <laughs> that sin speaks it's been 24 hours of this so far of ash and heat a rain of fire makes the air thick and vile how much more do you think she has to say falco holds a bandana to her mouth so as to not breathe in the loose fragments of rock mineral crystals and volcanic glass our volcanologists are uh, all vulcan all say it might be another 48 hours Volk, uh, volcanologists it's you know it's vul volcanologists but it's in spanish all right uh say it'll be another 48 hours isabel suarez uh winces the aroma of brimstone assaults the nostrils okay so what do you need from el fuego santo money and bullets our infrastructure is damaged and my people will need to help uh need help getting back on their feet when the sky clears money then we will have to take care of the opportunists who have used the cover of darkness to take from Arata unseen and bullets i'll see what i can do okay recapture the river pier and uh village and the ferry station upgrade all the buildings in the Murata region all right fair so uh that's these two these are just ruins no big deal and uh, we've already taken the village. That's fine. We'll upgrade it. And so now we just need to come, come down there. All right. So that's what we will do next. I need to have everybody else move other places. Okay. I need everybody to just go to other locations because these, these locations are not going to work for me right now. Uh, so let me move everybody to other destinations. I'll be right back. Okay. Everybody's back in a, a point that actually makes sense now. And I've got to make sure that my export paths here are not getting confiscated so uh coffee's getting confiscated here it looks like avocados are suspicious so we'll turn that off there uh and it seems like everything should be good and it looks like uh our buddy here has another phone call for us so they covered all the ground devoured everything these are the locusts and stuff again the moths or whatever it is uh we'll just go ahead and uh pay the 2000 legal money and they'll be exterminated in seven days don't care Okay, uh, let's talk to the other mayors and see what else they need so we can just kind of get the quest started on all these different things. So in Tetlan, we have Andreas Garcia. I am not interested in your pissing contest with El Volcan. In fact, you can put your dicks away because I am taking over in Tetlan. Hmm? Lo entiendes? Do you understand? Uh, outside of the city of Tetlan looms the grim specter of El Volcan. A military complex a the home of the ejercito nacional the national army uh mayor andreas garcia begins to laugh slowly lowly at first but soon he is convulsing consumed by an uncontrollable sinister delight hey payaso what's so funny <laughs> what you you think you can just walk in here demand control and no those uh procrastians are going to just stand by do you know why they call it El Volcan, mi amigo? Because that place, it waits, dormant, a sleeping giant. And then suddenly, the mayor turns from the window and claps his hands together like cymbals. The sound reverberates between office walls. Without any warning, it explodes. Soldados come spilling out of it like lava, spreading... The curse of death to whoever they touch, leaving only fire and destruction in their wake. And then anything on which the ash settles becomes a part of it, a part of El Volcan. 
That's their plan. Slowly but surely, El Volcan will grow in size and influence until the whole of Tetlin is in its grasp. You're the mayor, can't you just shut them down? They have already grown too powerful for me. They have arrested the region's food production buildings and have soldados stationed in the river pier. <clears throat> if we can take those back from them, then perhaps we have a chance. <clears throat> okay, so again, uh, take uh, the, the belt. Uh, release four arrest buildings in Tetlin region. Okay, so arrested buildings are over here. So I just do this. That's it. 48 grand done. Uh, next thing he wants me to do is recapture the river pier. Okay. So that's going to be right there. It's pretty easy. It's two strength. Paulina, go do that. There we go. And uh, while she's doing that, let's go ahead and see what the mayor of Costa Blanca is like. His name is Martin Cortez. It was a bacanal. I don't know what the hell, how to say that. Uh, a bonding of beauty and base. Ah, you found me. The columns of the hall were decorated with climbing ivy and flowers scattered, scattered their petals to be crushed underfoot. You didn't make it easy. The women were of Colombia, uh, Colombina, half masks that covered only their eyes, cheeks, and nose. These masks adorned with patterns transformed them into all manner of forest creatures, songbirds, fawn, and hare among them. There is more intimacy in a crowd than at a dinner table, Capo. As the woman danced, the men stalked behind columns with hungry eyes. Events like these are the spirit of Costa Blanca, a spirit of which I fear we are down to our last bottle. One of the hunters, however, followed a set of tracks to a, to a balcony where a man stood alone. The two talked for a while. Then won't you allow El Fuego Santo to fill your cup, senor? So deliver 100,000 cash to the dugout. Goes to Blanca uh, region for the party. So I need to deliver 100,000 in cash. I assume to that dugout, which I also have to apparently uh, seize. I have to basically free it and then fill it up, I guess. Okay. That's not what I expected, but fair enough. This we can do. I All I need to do is take the aerodrome away. And put this there. Go. All the money leaves the residence. Dun, 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 Paulina will now take that. Uh, and while we're here, I suppose we cannot talk to the general yet. Uh, we cannot talk to this guy either. He's just here. I can't do anything to the pit viper. So uh, unable to talk to the military base yet. Okay. Apparently, that's the way it goes. All right, so we're delivering all the money there. We now have taken the pier. Uh, for the first time in many in recent memory, a non-military ship leaves from the Tetlin River Pier. The local people gather to wave and cheer as it depart, unaware of either its destination or its likely less than reputable cargo. The mayor laps up the adoration of the crowd. As he leaves the stage, he is handed a small black phone. I did what you asked. Now, might I remind you of our agreement? Not so fast, mi amigo. I had hoped that wrestling away the region's industry would be enough. But I fear more drastic measures may be necessary to truly free the region from the chokehold of the national army. And why do I get the feeling that that involves more work for me? Well, as part of the initial land deal, the National Army agreed that a representative would be stationed in the city at all times to represent the interests of the army on the local council. With them on the council, I'm afraid I would not be of any use to you even if I wanted to. Now, if they were to go missing, I have to have a kidnapping skill, don't I? Kidnapped by the fearsome cartel, for instance. Oh, well, what's this? Their leader, El Huevo himself says he will only return the representative safely if the army reduces its influence in Tedlin? Huh. Oh, I, what an unbelievable... Uh, listo, listo. I, I get it. Dios mio. What is it with the mayors in this country? <laughs> All right. So apparently I need to send someone to kidnap the representative uh, in this town. Okay. I don't think I have anyone with a kidnapping skill. I'm going to have to check that. Uh... I don't remember anyone having it, to be honest, but I will look around and see 
if any of us have kidnapping in the future and then I may be able to ah Salvador has it so Salvador would have to come to this lay this part here can I get rid of you yet hmm? can I get rid of you yet I want to get rid of you I know you're loyal and that's good but you've chosen my side so that means you're less like everyone else now right so can I move you to the prison and tell you to uh lock yourself up hmm? let's see Let's see if we can get rid of Wagner so I can upgrade other people. In the meantime, uh, let's see if anybody else has the kidnapping skill in their tree. Uh, you have robbery, which I will need that anyway. Crap. So I need to do something else here too. I do wish it's going to have to be Rapayet. Rapayet is going to have to go. I'm sorry. But I need, I need this spot. Uh, I need this space for the other people in my organization that have more useful skills that I'm going to need in order to take over regions. So you are going to the prison as well, Rapayette. Goodbye. Hopefully, we will have everybody locked up in prison for us <laughs> very, very soon. Uh, police are spotted nearby. Where are they going? I mean, at this point, the chances that they're getting, coming after my land are pretty high because like, pretty much all that's left are my land. Uh, we also don't have a need for another slot here. That's interesting. We can go move you up to here. We can keep the uh, the people happy, hopefully. Uh, did we manage to deliver the money here yet? What? I brought the money here. You're telling me you're waiting. What? Dude, did I just give you like $90,000 and get no credit for it? <laughs> I think I did. Uh, maybe it's not turned on or something? Like, it's 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 here. I, I, I've i given you the money. Watch these trucks. They all leave. That's 20000 in dirty money. Being brought to this place and not getting any credit for it. Hold on. Let's reread this again. Deliver 100,000 cash to a to the dugout in Costa Blanca region for the party. 70,000. Oh, okay. I see. So it's not counting it, but it's still delivered. Okay, I didn't waste it. It's it's counting it on on the quest. So 90,000 been delivered there now. Okay. That makes sense. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take that location out of here and bring back the aerodrome, okay? Now you are going to deliver the money, 10,000 in cash. Go about that is close enough to be honest and have you deliver it there okay there you go it's already done all right there was already other trucks there so now i want to cancel this but i, I don't care no one else is going to do it just help you cancel have you stop the delivery now stop the delivery there we go and move back to here and you have way too much money in you so actually now we need to move you out and deliver the money that's in here. Uh, deliver all of it to the residents really quick. <laughs> I'm just wasting it now. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Go back to the airport, please. Okay. Whew. All right. Costa Blanca, what else you got? Buy out the residents in Costa Blanca region and deliver 100 cocaine to it for the party. So buy out the residents. Cool. Bought out. Here you go. I'll even upgrade it just for you, senor. Uh, and then we need to deliver what now? A hundred cocaine. Okay. So we come over to this region here. I'm going to move you to... Uh, the transport company has a lot of it here, actually. There's a thousand cocaine in here. So every package is five. And if I need to deliver a hundred... Is it a hundred? That means I need to deliver... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd you go? A uh, hundred cocaine. Okay. So I need to deliver 20 boxes. All right. That's fair. Uh, so I'm going to say that you have another location. You are going to send it to the residents over here, which you cannot do yet. Uh, but I'll tell you what, you can always deliver it to the city. And then hopefully these trucks will leave and deliver it to the city. Doesn't look like they're going to. Okay, I will do it myself then. You deliver the boxes because they're they're waiting for straight up cocaine. They're not, they're not wanting the package stuff. Uh, maybe... I can just can I just get the raw material here is that doable these are the drying racks what about the labs 
There's three in here. I would, I would rather it be... Like, we're not going to get it in the workshop and not have it be worked, right? Because there's a lot of... There's already a lot of the packing resource in the in the warehouses and stuff, so we're not likely to get just the cocaine. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can if I can make it count by delivering 20 of these boxes to this area over here. So where is... Well, it has to be delivered to the residents, so... I can either wait or I can have it shipped over here and then move it later. This game is freezing, man. <clears throat> it is not liking me right now. Neither is my voice. Come on now. You can do it. This quest is a lot easier once there's no more gangs on the map, right? <laughs> like you take everybody out and that's it. It's over. All right, so we'll see if uh, Jorge Ortiz here can uh, bring the, this just the 20. So he can do it all in one big trip. And I wonder if that will count. If there will be 100 cocaine in here, if that will count. And then it's already upgraded. They didn't need to do that, but I did it anyway because it's a party. We want to have a nice, proper party, right? All right. You have 20 cocaine. You have 100 cocaine in here in coffee. And it looks like that is not good enough. You are not going to count it. Okay. Well, I should have known when the... Uh, when the transport company would refuse to, to deliver it for me. I should have known that it was probably not going to be something that was needed. So let's bring that back over there. Uh, we're going to say that the transport company is now able to have cocaine direct. And you're going to deliver it direct to this residence here. And you won't do that. You refuse to do that. Interesting. Okay, go to the city then. So I, I don't think it'll actually do that because the city is not uh, requesting cocaine. It's the residents that is, and I can't connect the residents. Okay, so tell you what, I'll have to do this. They're going to start storing it in here anyway, though. So at least it's a location that I can pick it up from later. And uh, when it gets to about 100 in here, then I just have to basically stop it and then have... Oh, really? I just lost the cargo because it's already full. That's why. Damn. Well, whatever. Here, deliver the packaged goods. You can't do it because it's coffee, right? Uh, you know what? I'm kind of sick of these confiscations and all that stuff, right? I'm kind of sick of dealing with all that stuff. So uh, we're just going to do it my way. <laughs> uh, and we're going to say it's going to be over here, I think. Right. Too steep right here i'm gonna put a level three aerodrome right there and then we're gonna have this road go this direction and then over to the transport company there okay and now everyone will now ship the goods to here all right and then if you want to bring it from the river pier and everything we can do that too we'll just have you go this direction with it all the way over like this Probably could have just connected it like that too. So now we will start shipping things to here instead of here. And we won't have to deal with this anymore because honestly, we really don't need the seaports and stuff anymore anyway. So the only reason we need it is just to ship like this kind of stuff. And that's a piece of cake to do anyway. So whatever. Okay. So when that's done, good. Now, what else can we do? Over here. Are we running low on time here? I think probably running low on time on this video by now, aren't we? I think so. Uh, I, I had to get up and move around uh, and do various different things today. So I don't exactly know how, how uh, long it is, but I imagine it's probably long enough. So tell you what, we'll keep this going for the next video. Uh, and I think we'll probably have all these regions captured in the next video. And then we can see how the quest goes from there. Okay. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.